I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Well, here you learn how do we really solve competitive questions. Now, some of these questions can be very challenging. Answering them makes huge difference in your performance and position. Now, let us see how do we evaluate the sum of these two radicals. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given to directly learn from me. You can also join our free math group. Now let us see how do we evaluate the given expression. Which is square root of x plus square root of 11, right? So let me rewrite this. So we have square root of 6 plus square root of 11. And we are adding its kind of conjugate. You see that? So one observation is that we are adding a conjugate. So how can we evaluate? Evaluate means it is going to give us one value. So let this value be x, right? So let this be x. So what we want to find is a value x for the given expression. Now, if I square both sides, what do I get? I get x square, right? So basically what I'm doing here is I'm squaring both sides. Make sense? So if you square both sides, what should you get? Well, you remember a plus b whole square is what? a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Perfect. So let's expand and write down. Square of the radical will give us 6 plus square root 11, right? Plus twice AB means 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 11 times square root of 6 minus square root of 11 and plus square of the second term, which is 6 minus square root of 11. So you see, uh, there are some expressions. Clearly, we can simplify, right? So we get 6 plus 6 as 12. So let me rewrite this as 6 plus 6 as 12 plus 2 times. What is this? Square root of 6 plus square root of 11 times 6 minus square root of 11 will give me square root of a square minus b square. Remember that part. So if I have a plus b times a minus b, if you multiply the conjugates, you get a square minus b square. So in this particular case, you get 6 square, which is 36, minus square root 11 square, right? So that's what you get. Perfect. So let's simplify further. So we get square root of 36 minus 11 is 25, which you know is square root of 25 is 5, right? So we get 12 plus 2 times 5, and that gives you 12 plus 10, or we get 22 as our answer. Do you see that? So that is how you can evaluate this particular expression. I hope it really helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.